hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we're going to be discussing something that i think is really really important and that's five reasons why you are not too young to follow jesus and i just feel like the enemy really deceives young people and really um, as well as popular culture. Popular culture wants us to believe that following Jesus is boring, that we are too young to live for God, but that is a lie. That is a deception from the enemy. So today we're going to be discussing five reasons why you are not too young to follow Jesus. Reason number one, and I feel like it's the most obvious reason, but the reason that most of us really don't want to talk about, um, and it's you don't know when you're going to die. You might be young now, but you have no idea when you're going to die. There have been young people before who've died. There are people younger than you who have died. And God forbid, I, my prayer and my wish is that we all live to see old age. But that's just not a reality for all of us. You don't know when your last day is going to be. So don't deceive yourself by thinking that you have all the time in the world. Because I feel like sometimes we try to lie to ourselves and say, you know what, I'll just do it you know, next year. Or I'll do it you know, two years from now when I'm more serious. The best time to follow Jesus is right now. And the book of James says in James 4, 13 to 14, Why do you not even know what will happen tomorrow? What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while, then vanishes. Our life is a vapor. Our life is a mist that appears for a little while, then vanishes. And it was once explained to me in another YouTube video really well. Um... And if this tiny thing over here was your life, just look at that tiny thing. This is our life here on earth, but this is eternity. Eternity just goes on forever and ever and ever. Don't base your decisions on this life. Base your decisions on eternity because that's where you're going to spend the rest of your life, depending on how you lived your life. If you gave your life to Jesus, if you lived your life for God, you're going to go to heaven. But if you didn't, then it's hell and that's just the truth and that's what most of us don't want to talk about you know when you're living a sinful life god is going to judge you god is love but god is also a righteous judge and that means depending on how you lived your life you're either going to go one of two places so please pick wisely you won't miss out on anything meaningful if you give your life to jesus christ and I feel like this is something that I really believed. And this is kind of what stopped me from really giving my life to Christ. Um, I just thought that I would miss out on so much, you know, like popular culture tells us that we need to be young and we need to be, you know, we need to YOLO and we need to have all the experiences and we need to live our lives. That is a lie and that's deception from the enemy. The enemy wants to keep young people distracted for long enough so that we don't reach our full potential and so that he can either steal from us, kill us, or destroy us. The Bible says in Luke 17, 33, whoever tries to keep their life will lose it and whoever loses their life will preserve it. If you try to hold on to those little things, if you try to hold on to going clubbing, to drinking, to partying, you're gonna end up losing your life. That means you're gonna end up losing your eternity. What's the point? It's not worth it. And I really did believe that I I was I was gonna be missing out when I gave my life to Jesus, but that's not true. Actually, when I gave my life to Jesus, my life began to have meaning. I have meaning now, I have purpose now. Whereas before I was just living the motions, I was just you know living day to day, depressed. Uh, just you know trying to do what culture told me to do but now that I'm following Jesus now that I've given my life to Jesus my life has purpose my life has meaning I feel like my life has actually started and began now that I'm living for Jesus so that is the second line reason number three you will find out who you truly are when you give your life to Jesus and this is true for me and this is true for most if not everyone I've met who's given their life to Christ. When you're living in the world, when you're sinning, you don't really know who you are. You just sort of are who people tell you to be and who culture tells you to be. But Jesus will show you who you are because God knows you the best. Think about it. If I took my iPhone to, I don't know, um, a garage, 
and I asked them what it was for, they wouldn't be able to tell me um, because they didn't create the iPhone. If I want to know what my iPhone is for, I take it to Apple, right? Because they know. I wouldn't take a Samsung to Apple. I take a Samsung to Samsung. That's just like you. Why would you? You don't know who you are. The person that knows who you are is your maker, God, Jesus Christ. God knows who you are, so he knows who you are meant to be. It says um, in Jeremiah 1, 5, Before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Jesus, God the Father, knew us in our mother's womb. He knew us before we knew ourselves. He knew who we were, so he knows who you're supposed to be. When you give your life to him, he will show you who you're supposed to be. And this brings me to reason number four. When you give your life to Jesus Christ, you will find your God-ordained purpose. When we're living um, our lives in the world, ignorant of God, a lot of us really don't know what we're supposed to do. There are a lot of people right now who are miserable because they never once consulted the Lord about what kind of job they're supposed to have, what they're supposed to do with their lives. Some people are anointed to be preachers. Some people are anointed to be doctors. Some people are anointed to be apostles. Some people are anointed to be evangelists. Some people are anointed to be public speakers, teachers, lawyers, but they never once thought to consult God, their maker, about what they're supposed to do. What is their God-given purpose? A lot of people in this world are just wandering around because they don't know what their God-given purpose is. And that is a meaningless existence. It's a meaningless existence to just live day by day and not know why you are here. You are here for a reason. You are here for a purpose. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. God wants to give you a hope and a future, but he's not just going to give you a hope in your future and you're busy if you're busy partying and trying to, you know, do what culture tells you to do. Jesus wants your heart. And when you give him your heart, he will give you the desires of your heart as well. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you. God will give you a purpose, a purpose that fulfills you, a purpose that you enjoy because God knows you better than anyone. So who else are you gonna turn to if you wanna know why you're in this world? The fifth and final reason is this, and I think that this is the best reason. Your name will be written in the Lamb's book of life. Now, God the Father so loved the world that he sent his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. That means that anything you've ever done, any bad thing, there is no sin that is unforgivable. Jesus loves you. God loved you so much that he sent the perfect lamb to die for your sins. When you accept that sacrifice and you realize what Jesus did for you on the cross, then your, and your sins are forgiven, your name would be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. When you become born again, you will, be, you will go to heaven and be with the Father. But Romans 10, 9, 10 says, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it was with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it was with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. Acts 2.38 says, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. When Jesus forgives your sins, you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, and that actually helps you to live this Christian life. That helps you to follow Jesus, because you can't do it by your own will. When you give your life to Jesus, he sends the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will dwell in you and will help you to live a godly life. And John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life life and jesus answered in john 3 5 6 very truly i tell you no one can enter the kingdom of god unless they are born of water and spirit flesh gives birth to flesh but the spirit gives birth to the spirit therefore guys you can't enter the kingdom of god unless you were born again of the spirit 
when you become born again when you really decide to believe and trust jesus he and when you repent of your sins he will send you the holy spirit and that will be your stamp to know that you your name is written in the lamb's book of life and the holy spirit will enable you to live a godly life and to follow god so please don't be deceived don't let the enemy deceive you and make you think that you're too young to follow jesus my life began when i followed jesus and yes i had to give up partying i had to give up doing all of those worldly things but guess what i don't miss any of it because the holy spirit lives inside me i am happy i'm content i'm joyful now and my life has meaning and purpose whereas before i was just depressed so the enemy really tries to deceive us and lie to young people by saying that we will be bored, that we are too young to give our lives, but you are never too young to, to give your life to Jesus. You are never too young. If God calls you, he calls you. God calls If God calls you when you're 20 years old, like he called me, he'll call you. If God calls you when you're 30 years old, he calls you. If God calls you when you're 12, he calls you. Please don't be deceived by the enemy. And I just urge everyone watching this video, if you're watching this video, there's a reason you're watching this video. Jesus is knocking on your door. God is knocking on your door. He wants you to accept him into your heart. So, you know, don't take my word for it. You know, never take just my word for it whenever you watch my videos. And don't take really anyone's word for it. Seek God for yourself. Go into the Bible. Go into the Bible and seek God. Pray to him. Ask Jesus to reveal the truth to you. The most important thing you can do right now is just pray a sincere prayer and say, Jesus, confirm to me whether or not it, what I'm saying is true. Jesus, reveal the truth to me because God will always reveal the truth to you. God will always lead you in truth. So just ask and pray. Pray for the truth. Knock and the door will be open to you. Seek and you shall find. <sighs> so anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed this video, if this video helped you in any way, then I'd really appreciate it if you liked, if you comment and if you subscribe.